Hey everyone, um, just a quick tech talk, Tuesday morning tech talk, um, doesn't mean that every Tuesday you're going to get a tech talk, no it does not mean that, um, it just happens to be Tuesday and this is a technical talk, but not that technical, um, I've had some people ask me uh, how do we get notifications from our Victron system when the grid goes down because the Victron system can back the whole house up and in, in many cases that's the reason that you would choose Victron is to back the whole house up <laughs> and so um, the irony of having such a good product is that you don't get any outage at all so you don't get the lights turning off for 30 seconds or a minute and then or five seconds even it's 20 millisecond break if that and so it's a one cycle break. Most most lights will stay on. You may get a slight flicker. Um, if you've got AC coupled solar like a Victron next to it, you might get a bit more flicker as the as the two inverters manage um, the grid going down. <clears throat> if the grid actually browns out, um, you'll also notice the brownout happening. So um, a brownout is where your voltage fluctuates down from the norm um, for quite a while. And that can be caused maybe by, uh, let's say, uh, a branch of a tree falls across the line and shorts it out uh, somewhere on the network. Um, and you'll get a circuit breaker that will pop open, but then the circuit breaker will automatically try and reclose that line. Um, it can do it, I don't know, five to 10, maybe more times in a couple of seconds. Um, so they're just going bang, 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 bang to try and clear that fault away, to blow the fault away, opens again on the fault. And once that fault's gone, if the branch just happens to fall off and onto the ground, then that circuit breaker will stay closed. If the fault doesn't um, clear, then the breaker will stay open and, the, and then you'll have your power cut. During that period of time, um, you may have seen this. You may have seen lights actually dimming and flickering around and, and you're going, oh, something's going wrong and nothing happens, or something's going wrong, and then boom, power cut. So in that situation, the Victron system is going to try and hold on to the grid for as long as possible, so long as it's within its legal limits. And um, so you may also notice as as that voltage sags, the Victron sags with it and then pops back up. So those are really the only times you're going to notice that you've actually had a power outage and you're running on battery. So everything else keeps running. So you're charging your electric vehicle, you've got your spa pool running, you've got the hot water heating running, everything running in the kitchen, um, you're cooking dinner, and then there's a power outage and you don't even know about it. And now you're running on battery. And if you knew that you were running on battery, you'd want that battery to last. So you'd turn the you'd turn your electric vehicle off, you'd turn your spa pool off, um, you'd turn the hot water cylinder off if you had access to that or you wanted to, you'd start conserving energy so that then the batteries would last a lot longer. Um, you'd especially want to do that at nighttime because you're only running on batteries. If you've got enough solar during the day to keep you running, hey, you can leave those things on, run off solar and battery and just carry on as normal and then start turning things off at nighttime. So let me just quickly show you, I want to show you, I'll share a screen here. I'm going to show you how um, <clears throat> show you how to set this up on on the Victron platform. Okay, so this is my place. Um, we're going to go into settings, and we're going to go to alarm rules, and we've got the users down here. So myself, Mike our tech support guru who I've just added to my site so that I can give you a demonstration of how to turn these off and on. Otherwise, if you're the only user on your site, you'll automatically be turned on to automatically turned on awesome Tuesday morning tech talk. Um, <laughs> you'll automatically be selected um, to receive all the alerts on the place. So I've got one here. I've set an alert up. It's called VE bus system. Um, and that alert, I've just set some arbitrary voltages. If it's low, if it goes below, if the incoming voltage on phase one goes below 100 volts, then send the alert after 60 seconds. It forces you to wait 60 seconds for each alert. So you're not going to get it immediately, but 60 seconds is pretty decent. 
Now, what it's going to do, you, you're going to set these up and then you're going to click save. In fact, I can delete this. Delete alarm. Yep. And now I'm going to go add new alarm rule. Select the device, whatever devices are on my system. So I'll go multi plus next. Select a parameter. Okay, there's so many parameters you can select. You could go power, output, is it overloaded? What's the switch position? Any or temperature, um, all sorts of stuff that you can select. But basically, input voltage, phase one, that's a single phase system. What is the voltage? If the voltage is below 100, then turn the alarm on. When it's above 200, clear it. So, and if the voltage is high as well, you could put this arbitrarily really high, so it's never going to get that high. Or you could go something like 250 volts, so you get an alert if the grid voltage actually gets above its legal limit, and the system then also has to disconnect if the voltage is too high. And that happens in some places as well. Clear that alarm when the voltage is below. Now, you actually want it to clear, so often the grid voltage is going to sit around 240 volts, so I'll go, say, 240 Five volts, it clears the alarm. Next, 60 seconds, one minute minimum. Save. If you get annoyed with too many alerts, select maybe two minutes or five minutes or whatever, um, depending on how uh, urgent that alarm is for you to get. Now, I'm going to select myself, turn that, turn that rule on, and done. So I am now going to receive the... Um, the alerts for that rule. Um, now, I also, I'm going to receive communication disconnected alarms and alarm monitoring. So if I select that, it's it's turned off, right? So if I turn it on, it's now set for 300 seconds and it's on. I will receive every time the internet has a glitch for more than 300 seconds, which is five minutes, it will email me. I don't really want that. But you can do that if you want to automatic alarm monitoring so it's going to based based on alarms any alarm on the system it will send it through to you and a predefined list of alarms um, you can look up on Victron what that predefined list actually is or you could go warnings and alarms and now that's going to send you so many emails you're going to get sick of it okay so only alarms um, I'm actually going to disable that because I don't want any emails I, I keep an eye on my system pretty pretty much so um, that's disabled and if I enable that it will then send me emails on the alarms that I've enabled which is that voltage alarm simple that's how you set up a grid outage alarm or any alarm for that matter you could set up a temperature alarm if you wanted to on your freezer so that you get an email when your freezer starts getting warm hey great that's awesome if your freezer is going to start getting warm, though, just bear in mind that it's probably because there's been a power cut and two, your batteries have gone flat and so you've got no power. And so your internet router will probably be down. And so there'll be no way for the system to send you that temperature alarm. So you've just got to be, be aware that that sort of thing could happen as well. Um, and so some alarms, it's going to be pointless to actually arrange because your internet will be down. But if you have a UPS on your internet, even just a little $200, $300 UPS on your internet router only, then the system will be able to actually still communicate, even though the main power is out, the main system controller of the Victron, the GX device, will still be live because it's got at least some battery sitting there. And um, the internet will be live, so it will then be able to send out, continue sending out whatever alarms you set up. Now, just so you know, you can also um, set up push notifications. I'm not going to show you that in this video, but um, you can set up a widget on your uh, cell phone. Um, and that widget, you'll log into your VRM just like you're logged in here. You set up the widget and then you go into settings on your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever you've got. You go to settings and allow push notifications, and then those alarms will then be pushed to your screen, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't, it means then you don't have to check email, whatever device you're using, you add the widget to it, the Victron VRM widget, and then allow push notifications, and it will push it to your screen. So I hope you have a lovely day, and um, 
yeah, we will talk to you soon. Awesome. Have a good one.